yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of, of fun stuff to play with here. Um, but I think there was some other fun clues that were also kind of reinforcing that whole this is not real and and these are kind of like puppets kind of thing or whatever, or this is a, a fabricated reality. And I thought it was really fun because I know I was looking it up because I couldn't stop looking at it in the kitchen in this episode, but the dish soap that would normally say joy on it, mm-hmm. it actually says koi on it. Boy, and yeah. then when I was looking that up to try and find an image of it, I found out that dish soap was actually in the first episode too. You know what I mean? And so, you know, koi obviously definition is like, to withhold, you know, truth or to, or to, you know, or to be a little like uh, mischievously sexy or whatever. It could be both meanings, whatever. But um, I just thought that was funny that it's just sitting there in plain sight. The dish, the dish soap if, says, if cool. the big reveal is a Mephisto, that's pretty like hilarious. Like, right. Yeah. I'm going to create yeah. this fake world, but put in all these little nuggets for you. Yeah. He's all, I got to make my <laughs> money through advertising somehow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But then, uh, you know, Vision, when they were discussing the baby names, you know, Vision cited Shakespeare and he and he quoted him as, uh, you know, all the world's a stage, all the men and women merely players, you know, is that a reference to what we're seeing going on right now? Because it's actually kind of a performance or, you know, I had uh, an interesting thought, like my one of my gripes last week with episode two was. Why is like vision so aloof, you know? I mean, granted, he was quote unquote drunk because of the gum, but like this dude's a freaking computer. And I wonder if well, the he's fact not just that, a computer, he's a he's a person too, you know, like true. he's true. an amalgam of many, many things, you know. So but a very yeah, intelligent yeah. being nonetheless. He he has organs, they're just synthesized. Like he yeah. he has yeah. all yeah. the same organs that a human does. They're just like not but or organic, I guess. Which, or, which, which is weird to me that why, like, they make this this joke that he doesn't eat food. Like he yeah. can, I think. He right? can totally like, eat food. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I was thinking, like, well, maybe if there's no, if there's no internet anywhere, <laughs> I wonder if that dumbs him down a bit. <laughs> I, I, I don't dislike that. I like that idea that he would be super dumb because. He's not connected to the uh, to the web. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 I like that. There are a lot of little other um, Easter eggs. So I think we can get kind of into. You want us? What about the commercial? Yeah. Escape to a world all your own, where your problems float away. When you want to get a- Hydra soap. Hydra. You want to get away, but you don't want to go anywhere. Hydra <laughs> soak. Find the goddess within. A little bit uh, on the nose, but I liked it. It was a little on the nose, but it it does feed back into. Um, I don't think Hydra's responsible for this. I think I think she's just getting more and more repressed memories surfacing of her time. You know, like I I think Hydra's a. I want to I want to say Hydra's a, a, a red herring. I don't think I don't think she's actually being experimented on them by again. You know, I think she yeah. already was. Uh, there it is right there. Um, it, it also reinforces kind of the theme of the show uh, being about time. Like they, they have tons of clocks. Usually when there's a clock prominently shown, it has yeah. some kind of thing to do with the, uh, with the show. So um, th- this thing talks about pretty much stopping time and it, it, it uh, kind of uh, m- makes a metaphor about bubbles and like the, their reality, reality bubble that they're in. Yeah, why do you do you have a theory as to why the bathing was so significant or the soaking? You think? No, no. Like to me, that that seemed like it's a like some Th- Themyscira shit or something. Like you know, <laughs> like that doesn't seem like it's a it's part of uh, the Marvel universe. Um, yeah, but isn't there something about and on? I, I never finished it, but Agents of Shield had something with Hydra soap in it, uh, where like mm-hmm. it kind of takes over. Your- I saw that the. It's a line essentially referencing that if you're in Hydra or Hydra agent, the Hydra issued soap has drugs or some sort of compound in it that makes you more complicit to whatever scheme they're doing at the time. Hmm. Yeah, something Coulson says. But but I agree. I think it's a red herring, even though like it is mentioned in Shield. I, I think yeah. it's. Just, I, I don't think it's a real thing. Yeah, or maybe it's you know maybe Hydra no. No, I'm going to stick to that one for right now. It's a it's a red herring. It's a red herring. I agree because like 
thematically it wouldn't make sense because all of the other commercials relate to some instance in her past. Well, the second one also related to Hydra, though. I mean, she was a Hydra yeah. agent technically for yeah. a yeah, period of time. For like 10 minutes, she was a Hydra agent. Yeah, <laughs> sure. She was. Um, no, but I mean, really longer than that. Technically, she first appeared at the end of The Winter Soldier. You know what I mean? So she's been Hydra since The Winter Soldier. With her little um, blocks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I do have some fun questions, and you know, that. Uh, I just I, I got to know what you guys thought of them. Uh, yeah. One, how does Geraldine automatically know about the spare room? <laughs> I know. Like, yeah. how did she just know it existed when it didn't exist there? I mean, yesterday? she's obviously a sword agent, right? So, but how did I, she know that the spare room existed? Like, they're monitoring, you know. Um, I'm sure she gets a memo brief like, hey, well, ask about this door. <laughs> let me ask you this, Dennis. When you come up to a house and you see like a big blocked off square shape right by the door, do you th not think that that's a spare room or do you not think that that would lead somewhere? I mean, fair, why did she, up there? She, she was there to see the kid. But she automatically started walking into it like she knew, you know, she's like, you keep your you keep the office supplies in your spare room. Right. Remember, you know, like she like. Uh, yeah. I was I was confused by that. Like I'm like, does she know that or like what? You know, that's what I took um, it as. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got We're another good. one. This is real, real talk. I gotta know. Is does Wanda just go commando all the time? <laughs> you know what I'm referring to, right? I'm like, pretty sure they don't want to have a 10 minute scene of her taking off her panties to deliver kids. I'm just saying, Geraldine <laughs> just kind of lifted her skirt up. It's a Oh, you're having the baby right now, oh, and I'm like, wasn't that, wasn't that in vogue in that uh, during that time? Right? You guys were there. there. I don't know I, what, are, what are our viewers say. Like, <laughs> I was I was kind of thrown off by like, I mean, obviously there's a lot of TV sitcominess to the delivery of those babies. Like, they come out wrapped and all clean and everything, you know. Like, and then that, like, that was my thing. It's like those literally five babies. minutes later, like <laughs> Wanda is standing around holding one of the babies, like. And the doctor's like, yep, 10 toes, 10 or 20 toes, 20 fingers. And it's like, um, yeah. But. Maybe she uh, rewound time and made them into like cotton balls or something. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, too far. Shoot. I was just weirded out. I'm like, so, so we're not going to talk about the fact that she just walks around naked, like with, with no underwear on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. 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 I mean, I'm just saying to get that pregnant that fast in a day. If I was getting that pregnant that fast in a day, I would take my undies off too. That's a good point. Yeah. Ricky Rick brings up a good point. Now you'd think it better come <laughs> off. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Fine. 